our approach automatically synthesizes controllers to optimize a solution for complex problems involving multiple robots, balancing time, communication, and other solution costs. This can be efficiently done by linking together macro actions, controllers for subproblems such as navigating to a waypoint. Our planner generates these solutions based on a domain specification and the available macro actions, while considering uncertainty in outcomes as well as noisy and incomplete communication and sensors. The objective here is to push the boxes, both large and small, from Depot 1 and Depot 2 to the goal as quickly as possible. Two robots are needed to push a big box, but one robot can push a small box by itself. The robots don't know the location of the boxes, so they'll split themselves among the depots. The green robot sees the small box, so it goes to the correct side of it to push it to the goal. The white robot sees a big box, so it goes to the correct side of it and waits for the other robot to come and help it push. The green robot will now take the small box to the goal and drop it off. Now the green robot goes back to Depot 2 to see if any boxes are left. Finding no boxes in Depot 2, the robot will now go to Depot 1 to see if there are any there. The green robot sees the big box and the white robot, and it goes to the correct side of the box to help the white robot push the box to the goal. Again, the robots don't know the location of the boxes, so one will go to D1 and the other two will go to D2. The robot in D1 sees the big box and realizes it needs help, so it goes back to the waiting room to send a signal to another robot to maximize its limited communication range. The robot will wait to send a signal until another robot comes to the waiting room. The green robot will go back to the waiting room and make another run. The other robot's plan has ended, so it won't do anything else. The white robot sends a signal to the green robot, which is interpreted as a request for help in Depot 1. The green robot will now follow the white robot and help it push the big box. In this case, there's a light that can be set to different colors or turned off. The planner optimized these light signals to allow the agents to ask for help in the different depots. The robot in Depot 1 sees the big box, so it turns the light red and waits until another robot comes into Depot 1. The green robot sees the light on and interprets it as a help request coming from the robot in Depot 1. So it turns off the light and goes to help that robot. The white robot sees the green robot come into Depot 1, so it stops waiting and starts going after the big box. Note that we used the same planner in all three cases, and it automatically produced plans that made the best use of the limited communication abilities of each robot. We believe that these methods provide a principled approach to automatically finding solutions to real-world multi-robot problems.